Hey everyone and welcome to another After Effects Trick Club episode. In today's video we are going to cover this cool outline text animation as well as how to do a match cut transitions between scenes where a lot of you guys asked to do it. So let's start. Alright so here we are in of Adobe After Effects and now let's begin. So we're gonna quickly start with making a background. So I'm just gonna create a background and then let's just add a gradient ramp effect. So we're just going to set the type into radio. Let's just change the color into something um, bluish greenish like this. And this one seems to be a little bit too dark. So let's just go into the blue section as well. And let's just change it to something like this. And alternatively, we will add a CC vignette effect. Okay, so this will be our background. And now what I'm going to do is that I'm just going to add a bit noise HLS and I'm going to change the type to grain and let's just set it on 5% so this will give us a grain texture background so I'm just going to set it on 8% that I think it's good now what I'm going to do is that I'm just going to write the text how to make and let's just extend it like this let's just align it to the middle and I'm going to change the font to Fura and let's just set it on Demi and this is good and now let's just duplicate this text and let's set it to $500. Okay, great. Let's just change the font to bold. Let's just increase its size. That is great. So this is going to be our main text. Now let's go and animate it. All right, so what I'm going to do is that I'm just going to write the slide and I'm just going to select the slide and pop in and I'm going to push it towards the how to make same as the $500 and I'm going to press U to reveal both of these keyframes and I'm going to offset this keyframe by a few frames so we will have this animation okay this is great now let's go towards the creating the outline animation where in order to do that what I'm going to do is that first I'm just going to bring the dollar stack in here I'm just going to scale it and let's just rasterize it so it doesn't get pixelated and let's just animate it from top to down. So I'm just going to press P and I'm going to go around 30 frames forward and I'm going to set it about here. Okay, this seems good. Let's just apply these standard easings. That's great. Let's just set the influence on 75%. Okay, this is good. Now let's go towards the creating the outline effect, which is pretty simple. So in order to create that, what you need to do is that you need to duplicate the layer and then let's just solve it for a while so you can see along with the background. And I'm, then I'm just going to turn off the fill and I'm going to turn on the stroke so we will have something like this. Now the trick is very, very simple. All you need to do is that you need to push this layer above the dollar stack. So as soon as you do that, you will get that nice effect like this. Now let's go towards the, the tint effect and we're going to colorize this a bit. So I'm just going to set it on a dark green like this. Okay, this seems good. Now what I'm going to do is that I'm just going to add a deep glow effect. Let's just turn down the deep glow. And let's just set it on 150. So this will be our main animation, which is quite nice. Now, as you have saw in the preview, now it is time we turn this $1 stack into the pile of dollar stacks. So to do that, what I'm going to do is that I'm just going to bring this pile of do dollars and I'm going to scale it. Let's just um, rasterize it as well. And I'm going to get the effect from the dollar stack in here and I'm going to paste it in here. This is good. Now, all you need to do is that you need to turn them into 3D. Okay, this is good. Now, as soon as I have turned it into 3D, you see that we lost the deep glow and all of the effects. And that is because we are working on advanced 3D. So we need to change it into classic 3D and everything will get fixed. Now, what I'm going to do is that I'm just going to create a camera. And the type is set on 2 node. The preset, let's just set it on 35 millimeters. And let's just create a null controller. It will help us to control it better. So I'm just going to call it controller. Let's also set it on 3D and let's pan it. it. Okay, this is great. Now, what I'm going to do is that I'm just going to push this one in here. 
And on the first step, what I'm going to do is that I'm just going to press P to create a position keyframe. And I'm going to create a slow zoom in effect, something like this. So we don't have that static camera movement. So we have something like this. And now when it's in here, what I'm going to do is that I'm just going to press Ctrl plus Shift plus D to cut the beginning of the first layer and create a duplicate of it. And I'm going to press U to remove the keyframes. Also, we need to turn the first controller into the second controller in order to control the node. And then what I'm going to do is that I'm just going to select them in almost in here. I'm going to press P for keyframes. And then I'm just going to go 20 frames forward and I'm going to push it up like this. So we will have something like this. Okay, this is great. Let's just also set it on 65% influence and let's watch. This is good. Now all we need to do is that when it's in here, we need to select the dollar stack and then we need to just uh, press Ctrl plus Shift plus D to create a copy of it. This is parented. And then what I'm going to do is that I'm just going to go towards here and then I'm just going to push it down like this, right? This is great. Now I'm just going to turn back to the first keyframe and I'm going to press shift plus S to reveal the scale. And then what I'm going to do is that I'm just going to scale it down to zero. And lastly, I'm just going to set it on 65% influence. So this will be our final scene. Now, in order to make it better, what you need to do is that you can just select everything and then you can turn on the motion blur and you can activate in here, which is active right now. Well, here we are at the end of this video and I hope you have enjoyed it. If you have enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel as it would help me out a lot. Thank you so much. I will see you in the next video.